Hello everyone, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping, and I'm starting it now. It's a little early for me, I've still got at least a week of freezing weather right ahead of me now. It's freezing right now. But, I've been going through my dirt. It's pretty fun to play with dirt. So I've been back here in my garden prep corner slash potato cannon testing range, and going through some of my dirt, making sure that I've got a good mix in everything. Some of these are just pure manure, some of these are pure dirt, topsoil, so I've just sort of been mixing them into these buckets so that they're ready to go grow some stuff whenever I can start planting seeds. I think I'll be doing that here pretty soon inside and letting them sprout, but I do have a volunteer. Might be a little hard to see, there we go. I'm pretty sure it's an onion. I saw these guys, I actually started digging into this bucket and found a shoot, so I just buried it right back up. So I'm not positive what's in there, but it really looked like an onion shoot, and those sort of look like onion tips. So, I think I might bring this guy inside over the next few 20 degree days, so that it doesn't just freeze out. Although, if it didn't do it this winter, it's probably not going to do it this week. But, just figured I'd share this with you guys, share my commitment to the garden this year. It's nice to know that even though I abandoned last year's garden, I still got a little something out of it to carry on. And something tells me that little onion is a pretty hardy little guy, so I might try to make sure that his lineage carries on through the next winter. Anyways, figured I'd share this with you guys. <clears throat> share this with you guys. My compost died this winter. I think a mixture of what I had in there, there was a lot of coffee grounds and not enough water. And somebody threw just a bunch of dry leaves in right before winter time. So it pretty much didn't decay at all this winter, even though we had a lot of temperatures above uh, above freezing. But I've thrown some of my muddy manure dirt in there. Hopefully it's got some living microbes and a bunch of water. So hopefully that will get it going again. It smells dirty again. Before it just smelled just like leaves. There was no life in there whatsoever. So hopefully spiking it with a little bit of dirt from my buckets and a little bit of dirt from the yard will have thrown a little bit of more microbial life in there and get it breaking down. But hopefully you'll be seeing this soon. I am committed to trying worms out. So I'm going to try to grunt up some worms. Uh, I've looked at the electricity method, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the tapping method scare some worms out of the ground and use some of these buckets to fast track some of my composting. So stay tuned for that. Figured I'd just throw a little video out here sharing my work in my dirt and making commitment to do some garden videos this year. Anyways, hope you're all doing well. Love to see some of you guys talking about gardens, even if you're just doing the one seed challenge. I think all of us can at least get one bucket of dirt and one seed and see what happens. Love to see that from you guys. I think a commitment to trying to grow at least a little bit of food and trying to learn how to do that, get a little bit of practice under your belt, is one of the best things you can do for yourself. All right, hope you're all doing well. Everybody stay safe out there.